At this time of year, one of the things you will want to watch out for on your farm is spider mites. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about what spider mites are, what to look for, and how to control them. All right, first of all, what is a spider mite? It's not an insect, it's in a different class. It's, it's a mite, but you may be able to control it with some of the same things that you're going out there to kill insects with. So even though they're a mite, some of the insecticides also have some level of control on mites. Well, before we get to which products will control mites, let's talk about where we see mites and when we see them. Typically, when things get hot and dry, that's when mites really thrive. Part of the reason why is because when it's cooler and wetter, then mites will typically contract a disease. They'll have more pathogens that will affect them and keep the numbers low. Now, for me, as a farmer, I like anything that's free that's going to do a great job for me. So all the time, I'm rooting for lots of humidity, keeping the heat down just a little bit, and hopefully we're getting enough moisture that these pathogens can just take over the mite population and I don't ever have to spray anything. Part of the reason why, as well, is you can't just simply go out like you can for a lot of insects, walk in your field, scout, and say, oh, I have... 30 soybean aphids out here early in the season. I'm absolutely spraying for soybean aphids with an insecticide, cost me $2, piece of cake. You just go that way. Well, with mites, you're not gonna typically see them with the naked eye. So what you usually are looking for is speckling on leaves. You're looking for webs that might be going across your leaves. And then at that point, you're just saying, well, I think I have enough here to spray. There are no established thresholds for spider mites. So what we usually talk about is like with corn, make sure you're protecting the ear leaf. With soybeans, we're looking at the top few leaves in that canopy. But again, there's no set thing to say, well, it looks like I've got 20% leaf damage out here, so now I know I have to pull the trigger. This gets to be a judgment call all the time. So I'll just say this, for me, what I'm figuring is if I've got a fairly decent growing season, if I have subsoil moisture, but now the spider mites have shown up, I'm probably going to treat if I feel I have good yield potential because my cost for treatment in our area isn't very much. All right, really quick comment here. Brian mentioned you've just got to look for these things, look for some speckling on leaves. You don't see that driving 55 miles an hour in your pickup from the road. What you need to do is get out in the field and just stop for a minute and take a look around and look very closely at these leaves. Spider mites could start at the bottom of the plant. You might see them on the underside of some of the lower leaves. Well, if you're just looking at ears when you're out in a field or tassels, for example, in a cornfield, you're not gonna see them. So you've gotta take a little bit of time when you're out in the field and look closely. And if you see some leaves or stalks that don't look quite right, ask more questions, pull them out, take them out of the field and take a closer look. In our region of the country, Lorsban, which is chlorpyrifos, or Brigade, which is bifenthrin, they both control spider mites quite well. In a lot of other areas in the United States, we don't see that same level of performance. In many other areas, farmers have to go with specific miticides. So there we might be talking about zeal, comite, onager, Oberon. Just talk to your local agronomist and they can help you to identify a product that's going to work well for the mites you have in your area. Again, we typically see these spider mites when it's hot and when it's dry. They add stress to a crop that's already under moisture stress. We can't have another stress out there hurting us and taking away more of our yield. They're fairly inexpensive to control in many cases, but it's something that if you look like you've got an extended hot, dry period of time, you better get after it with spider mites. Well, as you're out scouting in the fields for spider mites, you may find our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to control it on your farm coming up next.